Um, um Ahmed? Uh, yeah, Sheikh, uh, there is a girl, she had, uh, she had a boyfriend, okay. And uh, so her uh, guardian, her parents are uh, dead. Her guardian, the real uncle, uh, he wanted her to get married forcibly. Like she didn't want to marry that guy. So the girl, she ran away with the boyfriend and she got married uh, without the uh, uh, real uncle's, uh, you know, uh, consent. And then, uh, you know, the real uncle and all the family members, the elders, they have said that we don't want to see her. She she comes and she says sorry, but they don't want to see her. They say that you have committed zina and you, uh, you know, you have crossed the limits of Allah, so you are dead for us. And so they severed the uh, ties of kinship. Uh, my question is that, is it allowed? Even if she did zina or even if she didn't, we don't know because there isn't any, like, four witnesses to, to see the zina or whatever. Anyhow, so is it allowed to um, severe the ties of kinship uh, if she did zina or even if she didn't? That's my where, question. Where was that, Ya Um Ahmed? When was that? Where? Uh, it was in uh, Pakistan. Okay, I will answer inshallah. Um Ahmed, she says that there is this girl in India whom her uncle tried to forcefully get her married. And we all know that this is totally prohibited and the marriage is invalid. The uncle has no power. The brother has no power. Her son has no power in forcing her to get married to anyone. So when everybody in the family stood against her, she ran away with her ex-boyfriend or with her current boyfriend, I don't know, and they got married. And now she was, she's disowned by the whole family. None of them want to see her. They're accusing her of zina. And Um Ahmed says, are they allowed to accuse her of zina when they don't have any evidence? First of all, what she had done is wrong. Running away and marrying someone against the will of her family, her guardian, is definitely prohibited and the marriage is invalid but due to the fact that they are in India which is a predominantly Hanafi school Hanafi uh, uh, country the law there allows a woman to marry against or let me rephrase that it allows a woman to marry without a guardian and if she's a devout Hanafi follower and her husband is a devout Hanifi follower and they were not involved in any pre uh, premarital sexual intercourse and they got married in an Islamic court or an Islamic center then the marriage is valid secondly can they accuse her of zina the answer is no and accusing her of zina requires four male witnesses graphically describing what they had seen of a sexual intercourse taking place. But if they accuse her of this on the account that they believe that the marriage contract was invalid, so their marriage is invalid and they're living in a state of zina, this might be a, a, a dubious area that each one has his own uh, uh, opinion and view of it. She must try her level best to rectify this issue and try to explain to them if she can. If she cannot, then may Allah make things easy for her. So